What is going on guys, Marcus here with the Reformation Wood Shop, and I just happened to get my hands on the X-Tool F2 a little bit early. So, because I have experience with the X-Tool line of lasers, specifically the F-Series being the F1 Ultra and the F1, I'm going to be testing the F2 today, and we're going to decide together if this guy is worth upgrading to from the X-Tool F1 or lasers that are similar. Man, that was pretty good. That was like one take, just BAM! Obviously, before I show you guys all of the things that this guy can do, let's talk about the specs real quick. This is a 15 watt blue light and 5 watt infrared light laser. It has an 0.08 by 0.06 millimeter 12 watt diode laser, which is just fancy words for saying it is pinpoint accurate. It makes for extreme detail on all your engravings. And the 5 watt infrared laser is 0.03 by 0.03 millimeters, which is also extremely accurate. Your max engraving speed is 6,000 millimeters per second, which is 50% faster processing than the last machine. One of my favorite things about this laser system is how you focus. It has this knob on the side that if you spin it, it lifts the laser head up and down and you'll know you're focused as soon as your light converge. The engraving area is 115 millimeters by 115 millimeters. Max cut capacity is 15 millimeters of wood and 12 millimeters of acrylic. The max processing height of the F2 is 120 millimeters, whereas the F1 was 113 millimeters. All right, I'm gonna be honest here. I have no idea what's about to happen. The uh, settings inside of the X Tool software do not have a pumpkin mode, so we're gonna figure this out together. All right, what are we thinking? I could have tried to hit it a little bit harder so that I could actually punch these holes out. Maybe next time I'll do that. And since the base plate's removable, you can take this laser and stack it on top of stuff and engrave that way. All right, so let's talk about this camera right here. It's got a built-in 50 megapixel high definition camera, which is extremely useful. It enables effortless alignment and makes it so that you don't waste your materials trying to align things and engrave wrong. I actually had to use this on the very first thing that I cut. I set the engraving and the cutting power, but I didn't have it on the cutting bed. So I had to quickly stop the cutting, refocus it, put it back on, and then recut it, and it cut out perfectly. If you work with lasers, you know that aligning images on things that you've already cut can be difficult because if you're off and you ruin your piece, you can end up paying to work on a project that was supposed to make you money. Oh yeah, way better. So having the X-Tool F2 be so accurate visually so I can see exactly what I'm doing is extremely beneficial. And one of the main points that might be the reason you should upgrade from the F1 to the F2. If you're worried about the size of this guy, it's about the same size as the last machine. It's seven inches by nine and a quarter inches by a little over 13 inches. And the weight is about the same as well, which is a little bit over 10 pounds. Light as a feather. And before anybody asks, why would you need a small portable laser like this guy? Well, this right here is the F1 Ultra, and this is the P2S. You obviously can't take these guys out to a craft show, so having something like this that is mobile is better. Obviously, safety is gonna be important to you, so let's talk about it. Just like with the F1, the color of this shield here was not chosen just for aesthetics. It's orange because it helps to shield harmful laser light, which makes it so you don't have to wear glasses while working the machine. When it comes to safety, it has a visual AI-based flame detection for safer operation. Because your working area is smaller than other lasers, all the action happens in one tight space, including your smoke extraction, which makes the smoke extraction way better than every other laser that I have. The onboard fan is located right where you're engraving, so as soon as your engraving is happening, the smoke is being transported elsewhere, which means you're not breathing it in. And if something really bad happens to happen, it has this red emergency stop button, and if you hit it, everything will shut off. I know for a fact you're curious about materials and what it can engrave and at what depth and speed and all of that jazz. Let's get into it. Obviously, because I'm a woodworker, I start with wood first. Just like the F1, it makes quick work of engraving, especially a soft wood like basswood. And because it's got a pretty good amount of power, it makes nice clean cuts too. With the laser bed being the size that it is, when it comes to wood, I'd use it to make magnets and keychains and stuff like that. 
What about paper? What if you're not interested in woodworking? Color printers are out, laser engravers are in. Even if you're doing something as simple as putting a stencil on a bag so you can paint it later, the laser can be really helpful. And this guy is fast. The fan is on longer than the engraving was going. One second. Um, wow, look at, look, look at what that says. All right, because that was insane, I'm gonna try it again, but with a little bit thicker of an image to see how fast I can get it done with something more than just a little bit of text. Although it did take a little bit more time, I got a nice, good, clean, and full engraving on this paper. In another timeline, there's an alternate version of me who is not a woodworker, but he is a wedding planner that uses the F2 specifically to make invitations, table cards, all things paper that you'd need for a wedding or any sort of event like that. This engraver can do painted metal, AKA these cool little business cards that you see online all the time. And because you have the rotary tool, it can do all things tumbler. And because the diode head is extremely small, the detail on your tumblers can be unmatched. Once I started getting interested in lasers, I almost immediately started getting interested in making hats because one, I wore them, and two, they made me money. If you follow my channel for any period of time, you know we preach the gospel of Hyde Bond. Hyde Bond is the best leatherette I could possibly find at that time and even still to this day, and it can be used in your F2 even though it comes in these big full sheets that fit perfectly in my P2. All you gotta do is take a pair of scissors, chop it into four inch by four inch sections, and now I can take this little piece of leatherette, slide it into my machine, and I'll probably end up getting two patches out of this one little piece of material. Look at how clean that looks. I literally just made this based on the recommended settings of the Xtool software. No tinkering required. I'll leave links down in the description for Hyde Bond, obviously, as always. I support them, they support me, and I won't ever use any other leatherette than them. The F2 is really useful because it can cut and engrave on some dark, opaque acrylics. And if you don't know by now, acrylic is the way to take your woodworking projects to the next level. My wife puts acrylic accoutrement on every single thing that we put out. Magnets, Christmas ornaments, keychains, all the stuff that I make out of wood, she adds acrylic to to make it pop and sell for a little bit more. Let's talk about metal. This is the difference maker right here. This is not coated metal, this is metal, all right? This is what makes the F2 so special is it can engrave something like this guy. There are other lasers that claim that they can do metal and do metal well, but the F2 does a nice deep etching. And if you're a wizard with your settings, you can produce a variety of colors. Like this gold I got on my mini toolbox. I just love the infrared option with this laser because I can mark my tools and make sure that nobody can steal them from me. And also make sure that they're safe. If you're worried about nailing down the best settings, Inside of the x software, they have suggested presets for all of the materials you could possibly be using, which is a really good place to start. Obviously, you want to know about accessories and what is compatible with the F2 that was also compatible with the F1. The RA2 Pro and the RA3, which is a rotary engraver made specifically for cups, tumblers, anything that's round that you want to get an engraving on, is compatible. The pedal and button switch, this is for when you're too lazy to reach over and press the button on your machine, you can press it with your toe on the floor, this is also compatible. Desktop air purifier is also compatible. All you gotta do, plug your air hose into the back of this guy, the exhaust out the window. As soon as your F2 starts engraving, this machine will turn on, purifying the air. That way, you can engrave at craft shows or inside of your house, if you need to. And the Xtool F1 slide extension, which will expand your workspace from 115 millimeters by 400 millimeters, is also compatible. The slide extension just makes it so that you can engrave a bunch of stuff at the exact same time. When it comes to accessories, x had the perfect opportunity to change everything and make it so that all the old accessories weren't compatible with this new F2, but they did not do that. All right guys, that's it. That is everything I could possibly tell you about the x F2. The x F2 is available right now and you can get it $150 off for Black Friday. I'll have links to where you can purchase this guy down in the description. And don't forget, if you do click my link, you support this channel and make it so that I can make more videos just like this one.